So Hasek and Korn were both, Hasek was on his way out of the league. Korn had no resume whatsoever to speak of, but they found each other because they had nothing to lose. And the technology changed that day. Hasek could practice, and he would practice relentlessly. And then the opportunity came because goaltending had been traditionally ignored. There was a cultural bias against goaltending in the sport. Just give me an idea on the accumulated contract value of the goalies after they work with Mitch. Just anyone, sh shout out a number. Yes, man just scratches back. What's the number? Don't know. Don't know. Million, bucks. million bucks, how much? 25 million, anybody else? 25 million? Half a billion. 300 million. Close, good guess. Goalies, after working with this guy, he made his goalies $300 million. He gets paid about a buck and a quarter, 125. Seven of last year's 16 playoff teams had a corn connection, as I mentioned. So how did he do it? He did it by, he innovated, he motivated, and then he put his stuff in the public domain. He circulated. That's why. That's why Mitch Korn is the, is the reason that they're talking about wider nets in the NHL. That's why this phenomenon has been happening for 20 years. And that's why if you observe the elements of storytelling, tell a story, make contact with your audience, don't let big spaces sit between you and them, find a subject that they're interested in, you can spend 20 minutes talking about a hockey player, or rather a goaltending coach that no one's ever heard of. That's the art of storytelling, and that's what I was so glad to be able to share with you today. Thank you.